In all these videos, one of the things that you may have heard as a recurring kind of theme is a lot more power in Pro Tools 10, and we are very proud of it. Now, a lot of this is due to the way that we've rewritten the entire disk scheduler in the back of Pro Tools. However, an extra part of that power comes from the ability to cache your timeline and your clip bin into the RAM. Now, depending on what version of Pro Tools you've got will depend on how much RAM you can actually allocate to your specific session. Right now, we're on an HDX one card system, so I have what's called extended disk cache, and any RAM that I have, so say for example, if I have 32 gig of RAM, I can allocate up to 26 to 28 gig of that to the timeline and the clip bin and put all of that audio in the RAM. And if you've got really large sessions, it's a really good advantage to have. And I'll take you through why in a second. But before I do that, this specific session on the specific machine, I only have eight gig of RAM. It's a standard Mac. Now, because of that, it doesn't mean that I have any less performance. What it means is that I'm more utilizing a feature that we have in this cache, which is a bit like a smart cache. It moves with you. So say for example, if you've only got one or two gig of RAM that you can allocate to your disk cache, okay? Now, it doesn't mean that nothing is gonna work and it's gonna be the same way it always was. It's a smart cache. So say for example, if you look at the screen right now, I have my cursor in the middle of the session. Now with disk cache, it doesn't start at the beginning of the session and work all the way through. What it does is it goes, okay, you're in the middle of the session. So I'm gonna start there and I'm gonna work out front and backwards. So therefore, wherever you go, your RAM will move with you and it's very, very quick. So when you get Pro Tools, it doesn't automatically give you RAM caching, so it just gives you the normal cache. So let's go and set that up now. I'm gonna open up my playback engine. And you'll see, as I mentioned, I'm on an HDX one card system right now. And with one card on an HDX system, I can get 256 voices. If I had two cards, I'd go up to 512 and three cards, 768 voices, which is very, very cool. And I might want to add that one HDX system with one card is about the equivalent of about an HD5 if you're looking at upgrading. So it's definitely worth you talking to these guys about that. Now, if you look down here at disc playback, I'm currently on normal, which you're used to seeing. Now, as I said, I've got eight gig of RAM. Let's move this down from normal, and you'll see that I have five gig available to me for extended cache. So, now the reason you don't have eight is because we still need to make sure that we pull some RAM back so that you can actually deal with things like the operating system and actually running the Pro Tools application. Now, because I've got five up my sleeve, doesn't mean I should use all of it because I need some breathing space. I have a lot of VIs and things going on here, and I wanna make sure I'm safe. So let's put it to three gig. Okay, now I'm gonna press okay. And in the system usage window, you're gonna see a little spinning ball and then it's gonna add disk cache and timeline cache as new additions in the activity window. Now, you'll see that timeline is already cached in the RAM. And that's great. You'll see the one above it, disk cache is still building up. And what that means that any audio that isn't in the timeline, but is in the clip bin that used to be the region bin is currently being cached. And now that's cached as well. So let's move that window out of the way. Now, Let's start the session and I'm just gonna hop around a bit and show you how quick this is as I jump around the session. It gets a bit ridiculous. You can jump around until you are blue in the face and it will always keep up with you. That is the power of extended disk cache. Now, as I said, if you have the native version of Pro Tools standalone, you still get that smart cache and it will move with you. So don't worry about that. But as you think about upgrading to either the complete production toolkit or going into an HDX system, you get the ability to add all that extra RAM in your machine and really, really take power of it.